Robots are taking over the world, but not in the way you think. Year by year, we're seeing rapid advancement in the fields of robotics and artificial intelligence. It's truly a time like no other, where robots and androids now bring you food at restaurants, promote products on behalf of a company's salesperson, and much more. Though many companies produce robots of various kinds, the leading country in the advancement of robotics is, without a doubt, Japan. The Japanese are making the impossible possible. But what does this mean for the future of job employment among humans? And what does Japan have in store for us now? You won't believe what's to come in this video. Let's start with the most known and most prolific face of modern Japanese robotics, Hiroshi Ishiguro. A famed roboticist at Osaka University in Japan and Nissan Technology Consultant, Ishiguro is most known for his contribution to making androids as human as possible. He has built many robots over the years to help in various lines of service. The Telenoid R1 robot, a prominent Ishiguro creation, allows users to communicate over long distances by mimicking the speaker's movements. However, his modern triumph is an android version of a middle-aged family man himself. Ishiguro constructed his mechanical doppelganger using silicone rubber, pneumatic actuators, powerful electronics and his own hair and unveiled his creation for the first time in 2006. The robot, like Ishiguro himself, has a thin frame, a large head, furrowed brows and piercing, striking eyes. The android is fixed in a sitting posture so it can't walk out of the lab and go fetch groceries. But it does a fine job of what it's intended to do, which is mimic a person. Ishiguro controls this robot remotely through his computer, using a microphone to capture his voice and a camera to track his face and head movements. When Ishiguro speaks, the android reproduces his intonations. When Ishiguro tilts his head, the android follows suit. The mechanical Ishiguro also blinks, twitches and appears to be breathing, although some human behaviors are deliberately suppressed. In particular, when Ishiguro lights up a cigarette, the android abstains. This type of real-life android, which is meant to look like a specific person, has now been given an official name. Geminoid. Geminoids are the successors of Actroids, androids that were also built with strong visual human likeness in mind. Geminoids are slowly being perfected. Manufacturers have not yet been able to perfectly sync mouth movement with each and every response, but this comes as an issue mainly due to the existence of a multitude of languages. The same goes for every other android type that has been showcased so far by Hiroshi Ishiguro and Osaka University. Robots, Ishiguro and others say, are poised to move from factories into daily life. The hope is that robots will one day help humans with a multitude of tasks, such as household chores, care for the elderly, assist with physical therapy, monitor the sick at hospitals, teach classes, serve cappuccinos at Starbucks, and so much more. But to be accepted in these roles, robots may have to behave less like machines and more like us. In some cases, they may have to behave like unique individuals. But what form of android is best suited to serve society for the better? This now brings us to the biggest news of the year concerning robotics – female androids. It's no surprise why female androids were the ones chosen as test subjects for the public and why they are currently in such high demand. Multiple attributes of females are universally loved and appreciated, such as their calming thin tone of voice and, of course, their looks. Probably the most known fully functional female android today is Erika. Deemed as one of the most beautiful and intelligent androids, Erika is revolutionizing Japan's robot culture. This advanced humanoid is a collaborative effort between Osaka University, the University of Kyoto, and the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International. Hiroshi Ishiguro, who is also a professor at Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory, led the team who developed Erika. He used sample images of 30 beautiful women to create the facial features of Erika, who responds to questions with facial expressions and body language that are strikingly similar to that of humans. Erika also has improved speech and an increased ability to understand and respond to questions. She is so eerily human that when asked personal questions, her answers are often touching, humorous or heartbreaking, as observed in her Q&A segment for The Guardian. When asked about her memories, 
She said she retains a few experimental memories since her activation. One of them is a memory of falling face down onto a floor while being tested on and injuring her face, which she remembers as horrible in the Q&A. When Erica asked one of the speakers at the end of the Guardian Q&A, do you guys like my new haircut? A speaker responded, no, to which Erica swiftly responded, whatever, noting her character and self-confidence. Just by looking at the comments of this Q&A video, you can see how people have connected with her responses, stories and memories, though much of them may not have been organic. Japan's obsession with gynoids, also known as female robots or androids, began much before Erika was created. HRP-4C, also known as Meme, is a gynoid that was unveiled in 2009. It was revolutionary in providing vocal responses, as well as being able to sing using the software Vocaloid, with mouth movements matching the timing of every word. Aside from helping in public spaces and companies, gynoids are now being made to serve individuals, all of them, quite obviously, made to look very beautiful. Ishiguro and his team apparently set Erika to be a 23-year-old girl forever, with the design direction in mind not to meet the otaku's or desperate person's need for a wife, but to be a scientific research robot. Instead, gynoid wives are being manufactured and are in high demand. At present, many countries are studying intelligent robots, and many of them are designed with very beautiful appearances, such as the Chinese beauty robot Jia Jia. Jia, Jia is the third generation of unique interactive robots developed by the University of Science and Technology of China. She is 1.6 meters tall and looks gentle and very beautiful. When Jia, Jia was designed, the robot team recruited five beautiful girls from the University of Science and Technology of China. After their images were designed, they became Jaja's original appearance. Jaja's image is so realistic that people who are not familiar with her will even treat her as a real person. Moving back to Japanese robots, an android meant specifically to be a wife and perform wife-like duties is currently being developed in Japan. This android will be movable from the neck and hip down as well, being able to walk freely able to perform tasks such as cooking, cleaning, and even personal pleasure, an android like this certainly won't be cheap. However, Japanese men seem to want robot wives more than their own human girlfriends, which shows, among other things, the sheer extent of advancement in robotics and AI. Another major reason for the demand for robot wives is the possible reproductive model of these androids. Aside from performing services and providing emotional support, however immoral it may be for some, the ability for an android to birth a child is on its way. Research and development are still being done to make a fully functional gynoid. A test tube baby device inserted into the android could quite possibly be the future of human births. With such advancements in robotics and AI nowadays, the way robots and androids are depicted in modern movies and TV shows such as Ex Machina and the sci-fi series The Orville seems to be changing for the better. With much of modern entertainment showing robots as real human-like beings instead of rigid, lifeless machines as they used to be portrayed.